So I keep getting this question from racist and indoctrinated goofies. Why are you ashamed to be who you are? And my question is, why would I be ashamed to be who I am? When everything we do is great, we still keep our indigenous culture strong innately. They say we have no culture, but the whole world takes from our culture, copies our culture, you know, imitates it, and then try to spin it as if, as if it's though they created it. I'll start with language. A lot of hating goofies say we don't speak our natural tongues. Not knowing half of the American English language is actually indigenous to the Americas. Even though we were tore from our ways because of invasion, for the most part. But some of us still speak our ancestral tongues while others speak like our ancestors did, which they call slang or ebonics. For examples, sayings like my face card good, word is bond, or ayo is all indigenous American sayings. To still to this day, is many, many more that the whole world copies our indigenous American way of speaking. They call it our vernacular. You can look at the state names. Half of them are indigenous American words or just mad. That's why our American English language differs from British Eng English language. But ignorant people are so quick to insult us. That's crazy. Now let's go to our hair, which our various hair textures in itself are indigenous. But most, if not all of the hairstyles worn in America are our own indigenous American styles. You know, from our people, of course. Like corn rolls and afros. And corn rolls in itself is indigenous because corn is indigenous to the Americas. You literally have old Mac statues with corn rolls or braids at the back. The Mississippian tribes call the Afro the Chippewa. The Olmec also have statues uh, with them having Afros and cornrows. Locks are also indigenous American hairstyles from North, the islands, and South America. The Maya had locks along with the Chichiro mummies who are some of the oldest human remains found in the world. Waves, shortcuts, and mohawks are also indigenous American hairstyle. The barber shop in itself is an indigenous American um, cultural thing. You feel me? We invented barber shops. I did um, American Indians' contributions to the world. A little, you know, insight on barber shops. You can go to my page or my YouTube channel to check it out. That's why most of the world, you know, now try to get their hair, their line up. I ain't gonna say most of the world, most of the Americas try to get their haircuts like us. That's why you got all type of barbers cutting hair like us, getting shape ups like us, our lot type of lineups and everything. Come on, man. Our foods and dishes are also indigenous to the Americas. The fowl and hen, aka chicken, is indigenous to the Americas. I'm just going to name a few other foods and, you know, ways of cooking that's indigenous to the Americas. Otherwise, I'm going to be here all day with this. Candy yams, cornbread, watermelon, barbecue, corn, clam bakes, a.k.a. seafood boils. Every type of bean, like string beans or black beans, every type of bean is indigenous to the Americas. All type of peppers are indigenous to the Americas. Our pepper are the grandmother peppers. And it's probably the reason why we like hot sauce so much. Me personally, I put hot sauce on almost everything. And Tabasco, you feel me? Jerky, chocolate, potato chips, or just potatoes in, in general are indigenous to the Americas. If you didn't know, 90% of the food in Africa is truly indigenous to the Americas. So that kind of debunks that out of Africa theory in itself, right? And as you all know, music is one of the biggest aspects of our cultures, which are all indigenous American music art forms that we created. We know the whole world copies, steals, and imitates our music still to this day. I'm just going to name a few that um, genres that we created. Ragtime, country, blues, jazz, soul, gospel, rock and roll, rock, R&B's, 
rap slash hip hop, doo wop, and a few more genres. We also influenced reggae, which was created by the Arawaks and Caribs of Jamaica, and reggaeton, which was created by the Tainos and Arawaks of Puerto Rico. And we all know who the smoothest dancers are. You feel me? Um, our people are the best in creating dances naturally, from the shuffle, cha-cha slide, to soul train, bringing back so-called break dancing, which was recorded of us doing and beatboxing early as the 1930s. And I think it was recorded earlier than that as well. Um, but we have so many dances that it's impossible to name them all. Just know we hold them in honor while possessing the greatest skills in them, like John Swatton said about my ancestors in 1821, describing the so-called Creek Indian. Speaking of high honors, we hold physical exercise and sports in high honors. That's why we as indigenous Americans are the greatest in sports around the world. We are the best in boxing and always have been. No other nation can fuck with us when it comes to hands or athletics. We created basketball despite what, they, what has been said. The Old Max and Mayans, so-called Creeks, Aztecs, have all played some form of it. That's why we are also the best in football, one of the best in track, unless you include the Airwalks of Jamaica for track, um, and many more sports we excel in. Last and certainly not least, we are very spiritual and still practice a lot of our indigenous practices innately, such as hoodoo. They took our ancient ways, practices, knowing, and divided it up and called them religions. So they got a lot of us um, spiritually game banging on each other. But my, um, my standard on it is as long as what you believe makes you a better person, that's all that matters. But we want to try to get back to our ancestral ways because that's when we are in our most powerful form. No, this is the last one. I don't know how I almost forgot this. Our contributions, our, our inventions. That list is never ending. We damn near invented everything we use today. Our innovations are like no other. From our indigenous ways of government, movements, architecture, style, and so, so much more. I can keep going, but I think y'all get the point. I can never not. Um, love myself or my people like we are the greatest are you crazy please subscribe to my youtube at smoking sessions with chief pressure also i'm going to be going live soon i keep y'all updated on the details and the date yeah i'm gonna be featured on the homie precise page so you know go subscribe to his youtube too you know what i mean let's get this truth out there that's the whole point of it all you feel me? They get the truth out. So subscribe to mine and his YouTube. I'll keep you posted when I'm going live on his shit and mine. You feel me? And that's Mr. Precise. And that's the Live Precise Show. When we united, they can't defeat us. You know they saying. United we stand, divided we fall. That's a real thing. Peace, love, and power to my people. Smoking sessions with Chief Pressure.